Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Ramoliotis, aka PD Beats. Hello, and welcome to the Pop Turnative Podcast, the podcast and talk show where we have digital discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, sports, TV, film, hockey. Everything really depending on the guests. We talk about it all. As always, I'm your host, Peter Otis. On social media, you know me as Peter Beats. My pl- my uh, guest is a junior hockey player. Spent mo- his, most of his recent time in the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League with the Cape Breton Screaming Eagles. He is from Russia. We are talking to Igor Sokolov. Igor, welcome to Pop Alternative, man. Thanks for having me. No problem. Um, I guess everyone kind of wants to be a hockey player at a young age but specifically for you when did you kind of take it the most seriously in life was it kind of like adam peewee like at a young age when did you decide that like hockey was something you wanted to do yeah you know it's probably was seven or eight around that area when uh you know i started you know skating and you know start shooting pucks and all that and play like hockey and have fun around it so i think it's probably was eight eight nine in that age absolutely um there's a lot of Russian players that decide to go play in Canada. For you specifically, what was that reason to kind of go to the Quebec Major Junior Hockey League and play with the Cape Brand Screaming Eagles? Yeah, you know, you always, when I was growing up, I wanted to play in NHL, obviously. So, you know, first step to get here, to go to Junior League here and, you know, start feeling in what North American hockey is and, uh, you know, how different is that. And, uh, you know, it's I think it's a great opportunity for lots of European players to, you know, like, go through CHL for free two years and, you know, be ready to play in the next level, but North American style hockey. What kind of player would an NHL team get from Igor Sokolov if they want to draft you in the National Hockey League? Uh, you know, probably a hard worker, guy who can shoot the puck, who can be dangerous in those uh, areas, like by the net, you know, big body, hard to knock off the puck. Yeah, absolutely. And I saw another interview that you did recently as well. Um, one of your teammates, um, Drake Batherson, who is an NA, uh, NHL prospect, um, played a little bit of games with the Ottawa Senators. Um, you were talking about how he was one of the players that maybe like helped you kind of learn English. Yeah. Um, yeah. How important is it to have teammates like that, that know that you're kind of coming from Russia and know that, you know, you're going to be kind of, in a lot of interviews and talked to a lot of people upcoming the NHL draft and he helped you with your English, correct? Yeah, he did. Yeah, how, is, how important is it to have teammates like that? Yeah, I think it's really important for, uh, you know, lots of guys who coming on coming over from, uh, you know, Russia, let's say, like I was. And, you know, you don't know what to expect. And, you, you know, you come in the locker room, you can't talk to anybody. And, uh, you know, you kind of need that help from person like he's gonna just like walk you around you know try to get you going everywhere with him and you know spend time with him and teammates so i think drake was a key part of my journey you know like he was just trying to get me everywhere wherever he goes like you know get coffee or something go to the mall and just you know spend time with him and uh, i think it was really important for me you know to have a guy like that that i could talk to like you know trying to try to talk to him you know and not be scared to make mistakes and stuff in the last couple of years specifically, there are a lot of Russian players that are excelling in the National Hockey League, like Panarin, Radulov, Kuznetsov, Tarasenko, there's Kucherov. There's so many amazing names right now from Russia in the National Hockey League. You kind of looking for your NHL draft year ahead of your year. Does, is that encouraging for you, seeing how successful a lot of Russians have been and, and how consistent it's been in the National Hockey League, Igor? Yeah, I think it's awesome. I think it's pretty awesome for, uh, you know, Russian hockey that um, we have so many good players coming up, you know, like even Denis Gurianov, the guy who played in the NHL two years and, you know, he fought through, played two years in the NHL. Now he's one of the most dangerous players in playoffs, you know, like it's pretty awesome to watch people like, you know, from your country, you know, growing in, as a player and, you know, like being on top of like best players in the league. So I think it's pretty crazy. And uh I think it's really cool to watch for me and lots of like guys like you know like 18 17 years old like looking up watching NHL games how the Russian players are performing. Would you recommend to other players in Russia to possibly come to North America, Canada or US to play hockey or does it depend on where you are in your kind of career? Uh, I think it's it's uh, everybody's decision, you know, like I never 
looked back like three years ago and like I never said uh, I wish I would stay in Russia you know what I mean mm -hmm. like I'm happy that I've done that and uh, you know it helped me to grow as a player you know learn the language grow as a person so I think it's a lot lots of good stuff if you come over in North America it's very interesting too I saw other interviews you've done and we talked about it before I mean you know you're gonna get drafted um you're looking to get drafted in the National Hockey League. And then what's going to happen basically is depending on what team drafts you, you know, there's different routes you could take. You know what I mean? How important is it, though, to adapt to situations depending on what coaches and organizations want from you? Because, if, for example, in, in, in junior, you might be used to playing a certain system or being on a certain line. That might not be the case in, in pro hockey, Igor. So you have to adapt. How important is that to you? I think it's really important for me, you know, like team drafts me and uh, they know what they want to do with me. So, you know, obviously I'm going to trust them. If they want me to go somewhere, they're going to loan me somewhere, you know, I'm going to be happy. I'm going to be keep listening, keep talking to them, what they want me to improve, what they want me to work on and, you know, keep getting closer to, to that dream to, you know, reaching out my, reaching my goal. So I think it's important for me to stay patient and, you know, listen to the guys talking to me and, you know, like, try to correct my game every time I play, you know, try to get, keep getting better. A lot of people say that the Super Bowl is the best sporting spectacle in the world. For me specifically, because I'm also from Canada, the World Junior Hockey Championship is the greatest sports spectacle of all time. In my opinion, it's up there number one. I do like other sports, but that is the best. You got to yeah. play in that tournament. You were in a gold medal game against Canada. I mean, from the fans' perspective, there's nothing kind of better than that. Canada versus Russia. Um, not the outcome you guys wanted. Um, you didn't get the gold medal, but what was that experience like for you, Igor? Oh, man, you know, it's definitely something I would never forget in my entire life. I think it's just experience for the rest of my life. It's crazy, you know, like it's crazy tournament. There are lots of good teams, you know. It's like you coming in, it's no bad teams here. It's all best players yeah. from, from around the world, under 20, you know what I mean? The old top prospects for NHL who's knocking on the door to, you know, like play in NHL already, right? Yeah. So I think it's like it's just great hockey, you know. You're playing, you're having fun. It's quick, like, you know, it's like extremely quick, you know, like hits and all that stuff. So... You know, it helps you to grow as a player, you know, it helps you to just like, you know, I came came back right after it and, and to Q and I was like, like, my God, the tournament, like, that was crazy. Like, I feel like I'm just a different player now. You yeah, know? like it you helped I mean? you. It helps you. You know right? what I mean? Like, yeah. I, I came back in and I scored like 12 goals in four games or something like that. Like, it was insane. Like, wow. I was just... I was just a different player. Like <laughs> No, and it's it's crazy too. Like the fans, they love that tournament, man. It's crazy. Oh man, we we were playing the first game, the like first game of the tournament we were playing against Chef and it wasn't Chef, right? So oh my god. It was like probably like ten it was the rink was like ten thousand and you just see like all ten thousand people just jumping and they just screaming and all that. You just can't even hurt yourself. Absolutely. Right, so it's, I think it's awesome. But Canada Russia is one of the best sporting rivalries on the planet. Absolutely. So those games, because you played them, you 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 played Canada twice in that tournament. Yeah. Round yeah. robin, you kind of um, handed it to Canada, and then <laughs> um, you know the, the gold medal was a lot different. But uh, it was there was a lot of emotions between those two teams the whole tournament. Oh, exactly. You know, like it's just Canada Rush, it's always great hockey. It's always like a war, you know what I mean? Like yep. everybody tries to prove and you know, like you know, we came out and then they came out, we beat them six nothing in the group stage, so they were angry. But we weren't like, you know, like uh we beat them six nothing, it's gonna be easy again. Like we were ready, we were playing a great hockey game, like, you know, like we just got unlucky, like you know what I mean? They hit the camera. Like all that stuff, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't want to. Yeah, I didn't want. I didn't want to mention that, but yeah, that. So you mentioned that. So what were you guys yeah. thinking about when that happened? You know, I just, I didn't know that rules are like that. Like I didn't know that if it's like attached to rink, like it's, you know, it's not a penalty. So like I was like confused, but then it, um, I guess it was then, the rule. then Asenko was not happy. No, nobody was happy. Everybody <laughs> was just like, "What is going on?" Like puck just went over like mm -hmm. we're supposed to be like five on three six on three you know we pull in the goalie and we're gonna be six on three and it's in that's been nothing but i think it was just a great game of hockey from canada and from us like it was just like 
fans definitely love that game. Like, a lot play, of I mean, you know, and it's it's just a, it's a glimpse of the future. People get to see you players like yourself that um, or for Canada, you know, um, like Alexi Lafreniere, players that are going to get drafted in the National Hockey League. So it's a glimpse of the future. But then there's also players on Russia that are already drafted that get to really show what they've got. Right. So, like, for example, Alexander Romanov is 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 incredible player. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like he's so good. <laughs> like he's, I don't uh, think people really understand good. how good of a defenseman he will be in the National yeah, Hockey League. He, yeah, he's crazy good defenseman. Absolutely. Is there anyone else on your team that you were? I was impressed with a few players. Matishev, I was really impressed with. There was a few players on the team I was impressed with, like specifically. I think our like old team was just a great all around team. I think everybody knew their role and everybody was doing everything right. And I think it was just so much talent and like couple guys like me, like you know, like we were undrafted and we had something to prove too, right? So mm -hmm. like, you know, like it's it was just like did it help having field. other players from the QMJHL on your team as well, like Kavanov? Yeah. Okay. Does that help yeah. sometimes if you're yeah, not on the yeah, same team? Yeah, obviously, because we, like, we played against each other for three years. You know, we come in there and, you know, like, obviously lots of guys who I never knew, never met before. It's kind of, like, awkward at the start, but mm -hmm. but it's still, like, it helped a lot that a couple guys were from my league and we knew each other and stuff like that. But, you know, but our team was just great all around. Like, it was not, e like, not hard to get used to everybody and talk. Have talk you have you been watching the like when you can some of the playoffs for the NHL right now? Yeah. So can we just talk about? I mean, it is like it is insane. Like I'm watching this game, these games, right? And it's just crazy how hard the game. It just looks so hard to play that game. They're so it's not like it just like they're battling in the corners. Like I'm watching these games, Igor, and I'm like, man, this like hockey has become like the hardest sport. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, what do you think about that? Especially playoffs hockey, man. Like, yeah. it's it's no pretty goals in that. In that, it's all the, the you know like all those greasy goals in front of the net that you're gonna get cross checked, you're gonna get slashed, but you have to work hard for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think just hockey is becoming harder and harder because you know like lots of people are good skaters. Hockey is quick. You know, you have no time to make a decision. Mm -hmm. it, it's either way you're making a decision or you're getting hit, right? Yeah. No, it's it's like, just it's you know become I mean? like, it's become harder. Like the players are, it, it's crazy, man. Yeah, because it's so many good players are like in around the league. Like you know, like you have a couple names like, you know, like McKinnon, McDavid, and all that stuff. But like, look at how many people are underrated. Like Alexander Barkov, Huberto. Like they have crazy stats, man, and nobody talks about them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like these guys putting up hundred points, and nobody even talks about them. I like, know. <laughs> yeah. like you know yeah. what I mean? Like everybody focused around McDavid, McKinnon, Kucherov, and all those guys. And here's Barca, Huberto, like Bergeron, like you know what I mean? They like just silently hitting hundred points and just like yeah. But I'm sure it's motivation and excitement for Igor Sokolov with the opportunity down the road f to possibly play against these guys. Like that must feel excited excitement as well that you might have that opportunity. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, it's why I'm keep working hard and you know trying to reach that dream. And how has it been during COVID? COVID's a weird time, but like in the beginning of the pandemic and everything, I mean, because you, you kept, you stayed in Cape Breton, correct? Yeah. yeah. So was it kind of like, it was weird, obviously, with the training and everything right away, right? Like the, everything, yeah. the routines were off, right? Yeah, we found a way. I found a way with my trainer from Halifax. You know, I've done a lot of stuff. I lost like, like 13 pounds there. So you're like, I'm lighter now and I feel stronger. And, uh, you know, as soon as gyms opened up, I was right in the gym and, you know, already like, two and a half months spent in the gym so i feel great you know training and uh patiently looking forward to a draft couple more weeks and you know it's gonna be exciting and uh, i'm all fired up about that amazing yeah it's about it's around the corner october it's it's yeah it's, it's around the corner like man. two weeks -ish. and That's you know weird. what and, and you know what like we're, i'm just gonna say it right now like you know we don't know when you know what i mean but you're gonna get drafted because i've seen you play man you're a good hockey player you Thank you. you could do a lot of different things out there um, so I wish you all the best with that. And thank you for coming on the show, man. This was awesome. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me. Um, where that. where could people follow you on social media? You have Instagram, you have Twitter, right? If they want to yeah. keep up to date with everything. Yeah. Yeah. So, is just your name or? Uh, it's uh, Sokol2629. Basically. Perfect. Amazing. Yeah. Well, seriously, all the best with the NHL draft. Thank you, you very know. much. No Thanks problem. This much. has been Popternative, right. YouTube.com slash Popternative for previous episodes. Until next time, this is Igor Sokolov and Petey Beats signing off. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnitive. 
make sure to check out our past episodes of Poptternative on YouTube. Be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.